um hi welcome to my channel in this video i will teach you how to use parsis um <coughs> project so after you download uh, you will see this uh, rare pile so unwrap this struck here there's a project a folder name uh, persist so before you run this uh, open your net bins then proceed open persist project then configure the um, database uh, connection so op click this uh, db connection class okay then put your um, mysql password here uh, so my password of mysql is aldrin then okay so proceed to the project so click this uh, folder then you will see the uh, data uh, sql file so open it to my sql workbench if you install my sql workbench okay you will see the query here there's a default um, purchaser added already or there's a set up that I add already categories of the item so we can um, execute this because this is disable the execute button so click this then open your um, connection your created connection so click click this um space uh, this uh, query any part of this query then control a to highlight to select all the queries then click select this uh, button then all added then right click the right click then refresh all then there's a uh, parsis database then click this then you will see tables in parsis database then proceed uh, if you have error here uh, because you don't have download any um, dependencies in like in this spoon then right click then build with dependency dependencies then after that um, right click then clean and build to save all your uh, edited your your file then after that um, you can run your project this is uh, downloading okay success build success then right click then run your project then the default is lower uh, admin lower case all uh, password all lower case admin then right. okay so this is the project um this is the project so there's no item here available so i will teach you how to add item or stuck in so click this stuck in the next is um, add then add purchaser if you don't have purchaser yet but uh, i add purchaser already so let's proceed to make it faster so add click this button add then there's um add uh, there's a pop up here add the table so we don't have yet item but if there's an item added then if you want to add item then you can select then let's add item here um barcode if you are using barcode scanner so use it 
Okay, then this is an item Beroka. Um, this is ten ten pieces. Okay, tablet. Then the brand is let's add Beroka. Save then. Okay, save then click Beroka. Then this is a non a non prescription drugs. So click this then non prescription drugs. Okay. Save. Are you sure to save the pres non prescription drugs? Save. Then select non prescription drugs. Save yes so we have our item beruka then tablet no um pieces because this item has um 10 tablets i oh, know this is wrong but let's change that later then five then the price is uh, one uh, 60 oh no for example 134 then the tax exempt then the profit margin is 10 percent of the buying price then there's a expiry date it didn't have um expiry date so don't put expiry date so save so we have beroka here then let's add another item this is the last item because this is a uh, demo how to add uh, item then let's scan another um, item this is a uh, memo the zone this is 50 MCG Okay, then the brand is Motain Amomate Okay, yes Then Momate Then category Which is, let's add category This is ano, Category This is prescription drugs Yes So Mimotasone. The next is this is species. This is spray. Then let's put five. Then one twenty. For example, this is uh no six hundred. Um. The next is tax is exempt. Then margin percentage uh, ten percent. Yeah. The next is there's a uh, expiry date here uh, okay save then save okay so there's a uh, um, stuck in here which is this is the date now and the user the one who stuck in the item then the purchaser then the total amount okay so let's proceed to stock out or dispense items so for example um let's add me Mi mimutasone one then beroka so let's, let's scan okay to item of beroka the next is let's um payment okay click this button payment for example uh, the, the money is 1000 then the button is enable if that is 100 the button is um, disable so add then payment okay so that is uh, added then proceed to reports a uh, user sales so there's a sale here uh, items 3 which is sold uh, total 
amount is 900 um, 954.80 so view so there's a toberuka and one mimo tason so then uh let's view report here um or in in voice this one view this is the invoice then the user sales user sales details this is the report okay that is my sale this is uh invoice one because we only stuck out one then if we print uh, we can print the default printer but it has no printer so it will print to pdf file so let's put um sample then save so there's a pdf here sample so this is the example of pdf okay then uh, let's see the inventory here the inventory is we have uh, sold one uh, mi mimutason one then two um, beruka so if we we view the report so this is the report okay uh, non prescription drugs prescription drugs this is the inventory summary then print then let's put inventory okay save okay so this is the inventory the total grand total and every total of the category because um, in the pharmacy there's a category shelves which is you put all the um, category drugs or category of the item category of the item so you can inventory how what is the quantity then the current quantity because in this program i don't include uh in total function of inventory you cannot uh, record um you cannot record uh, damage item lacking items missing items um expire items um what else damage and the return items so i don't include because uh i will sell uh, this project into um fiber so then let's press let's create new if you create a new transaction click this button yes then for example if uh, uh this one I use a uh, barcode reader so if you hold so there's a release button then if you if you click release then release I will added hold and release because uh, there's a customer falling in line but uh, he forgot uh, some items then the next um, customer is um you need to entertain so you need to hold so thank you guys for watching um see you next video bye bye